Torchy is flying in his rocket back to Topsy Turvy Land. He's taken the twins with him because they were very naughty when they lived on Earth. And in Topsy Turvy Land, the toys are going to teach them their manners. It won't be long now. We'll soon reach the twinkling star. What's happened to you, Torchy? You've got bigger. No, I haven't. You've got smaller. What do you mean? Well, when grown-ups and children go up to Topsy-Turvy Land, they become the same size as the toys. So if you do naughty things to us, we can do naughty things back to you. I don't like that at all. Take us back home. Not yet. Hooray, the sun is rising. And when we get there, it will be daytime. The toys were in the vegetable field picking vegetables. There was Pillywig and Ina and Squish. <laughs> Since I've eaten carrots and cabbage, I don't get the collywobbles anymore. <laughs> <laughs> Neither do I. Oh, it was awful when I had that pain in my tummy. <laughs> Yeah, Pillywig, and let me measure you. <laughs> Haven't you finished your knitting yet? No, the scarf is very long. But Pillywig hasn't got such a long neck. It isn't for his neck. It's for his toe. <laughs> What's that noise? It's the rocket. Torchy's come back again. Hooray. Come on, I'll go and meet him. Well, twins, here we are on Topsy-Turvy Land. Now... Who should I get to teach you your manners? No one's going to teach us. Come on, Babs, let's sit down and refuse to move. Oh, dear. We are going to have a lot of trouble with you. <laughs> Welcome back, Torchy. Oh, more naughty children? I'm afraid so. Oh, dear, 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 dear. <laughs> there must be hundreds of naughty children on Earth. There are. What are you going to do with these two? I'd like to do to them what they did to me. And they put me in a chicken run. Oh, well, we haven't got a chicken run in Topsy Turvy Land. But we could put them in a dungeon. What a good idea. I didn't know you were so clever, Pillywig. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> yes, I'm not a fool, you know. Even though I do look silly. Now... Um, uh, you take those twins to King Dithers and let him teach them how to behave themselves. The Orange Peel Palace is where King Dithers lives. It has 365 bedrooms, one for every day of the year. And on leap year day, the king doesn't go to bed at all. Cool! I've never seen a real king before. He's not a real live king. He's a toy. But he's still a king. Now then, both of you, sit down there and don't say a word. Your Majesty, I want to talk to you. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah, well, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Who's woken me up? Mm-hmm. Oh, why, it's Torchy. <laughs> oh, so. So what do you want to do for me? Hmm? I mean, what, <laughs> what do you want me to do for you? Oh, dear, oh, dear, what do I mean? <laughs> I've brought you twins, and I want you to teach them how to behave. What fun! I'll put them in the dungeon. <laughs> Thank you, Your Majesty. And as soon as they're good, send them back to me. Well, now, where are the twins? Oh, they're over there. Gracious me, you do look alike. Are you brother and sister? Hmm? Of course we are. We're twins. <laughs> well, how interesting. <laughs> now, come along, down to the dungeon. What are you going to do to us? Oh, I don't know yet, <laughs> but I'll think of something. <laughs> the king took Bobby and Babs down to the dungeon underneath his palace. It's very dark here, and it's very cold. Oh, all dungeons are cold. Ah, here we are. Now, I'll open the door and lock you up. Come along. 
Come out of the dungeon so that I can lock you in. I mean, <laughs> come into the dungeon so that I can lock you out. <laughs> oh, good gracious me, how dithery I am today. <laughs> What's happened? <laughs> You're in the dungeon instead. <gasps> Let me out. Let me out at once. Oh, you wicked children. Come on, Babs. Let's escape. The twins hurried up the dark passage, but they couldn't find the door. We've got to get out of here somehow. Oh, look. I can see a long handle. Maybe if we pull it, we'll find a trapdoor, and we'll be able to escape. Oh, oh dear, you pull my nose. Oh, I'm sorry. I didn't know it was your nose. What did you think it was? An ice cream cornet? Well, we're running away from the king. He wanted to lock us up in the dungeon. Is that so? Are you two naughty children? Yes. Uh -huh. I've heard about you from Torchy. So I'm going to teach you a lesson instead. Now come along, back down the passage. Quickly now. Help! Help! Oh, let me out! Help! I must take His Majesty out of the dungeon and put you there instead. We don't want to go to prison. I'm sure you don't. Mm, Torchy didn't want to go inside a chicken run either. Oh, I, I must find those children. <laughs> what a silly king he is. Don't be rude. Come on. Get in. What would you like to eat? Roast beef and Yorkshire pudding. Fried fish and chips. Well, you'll have bread and water instead. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> You're a horrible bird. No, I'm not. I'm Polycan, clever Polycan. Whatever you can do, Polycan. I'm not a fish, and I'm not a bird. When I sing, it's the funniest thing you've heard. For Polycan keeps everything in his beak. That is why poor Polly can't speak. <coughs> Biddy biddy ba, here we go again. I'm Polycan, clever Polycan. Whatever you can do, Polycan. I'm very ugly, I must admit. When I stand, I look as though I'm going to sit. If you'd got the crown jewels packed inside your beak, You'd know just why poor Polly can't speak. Now don't run away, both of you. And I'll bring you your bread and water as soon as I've had my roast beef and Yorkshire pudding. <laughs> it's horrid to be in prison. I know it is. Whose idea was it to be naughty? Yours. No, it wasn't. It was yours. And I'm never going to listen to you anymore. Oh, you horrid boy. And I'm never going to listen to you anymore. 
I want my mummy. I want my mummy. <laughs> Do be quiet. King Bithers doesn't like to hear anyone cry. I won't be quiet. I want my mummy. And I want my mummy too. <laughs> What will King Dinner say? <laughs> My goodness me. <laughs> I don't like to hear children cry. <laughs> I'm sure they've learned their lesson by now. <clears throat> a pollican bird, a pollican bird, bring the children back at once. <laughs> Did you uh, hear the king call? Mm. Bring the children back at once. <laughs> Well, I never. How kind King Bithers is. All right. I'll take you both up to the throne room, but if you're naughty again, I'll pick you with my beak. The twins went back to the throne room and found the king on the floor. you on the throne, Your Majesty? Because I was thrown off. <laughs> now, tell me that you're going to be good. We're going to be very good. And we'll never be nasty to toys or rude to grown-ups. And you'll never lock a king in a dungeon? Never. Oh, good. Now, you can go back to the rocket and tell Torchy that he can take you home. Torchy! 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 Torchy's a little battery boy. I'm a clever walkie-talkie toy with bright blue eyes and golden hair. I'm a magic beam that can shine anywhere. Torchy! Torchy! A little battery boy, Torchy Torchy's a battery boy. I'm a walkie talkie toy. Press my switch, see my bulb start to gleam. It's the most magic light you have seen. Torchy 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 Thank you. 